<sighs> what up y'all? It's your boy Raymond back up in here with another review video. And uh, today we actually got a uh, reaction to do for Earl Sweatshirt's new song, Whole World Featuring Maxa. Most of my audience should know who Earl Sweatshirt is at this point. Um, Earl Sweatshirt is a rapper and also just like an overall poet. Um, he is also a producer. He has a very grainy uh, take on sort of his life and also that is portrayed through his music. Obviously Earl has uh, suffered from a lot of problems with depression and also su uh, suicidal thoughts and stuff like that that he has had to deal with throughout his life. Uh, he used to be part of the group Odd Future. Over the over the past uh, two years, he's given us some uh, some interesting uh, albums, uh, some rap songs. I love that. I love that album. Uh, That's probably my favorite Earl album. Second, uh, probably second would be I don't like shit. I don't go outside. Um, both of those are one of some of the quintessential rap albums. I think of the past decade, in my opinion. Enough of that, we're gonna get straight into the reaction. We've got Whole World featuring Maxo by Earl Sweatshirt. So uh, let's give it a listen. Let's go. We've already got this really grimy beat. Uh. laughing, off of what I know and want to see from that. Mm. I know I changed, got his name But he told me never change, we parted ways I was uh. sitting on my door, had to recognize God, this beat is so nasty I love all the little vocal effects going on in the background the Little inflections home out of house, locking like dominoes Catacombs after the glow, the battle carry The efficacy strong, I finish what I start the funeral was hella long, I fell asleep, the effigy was short My effervescence was <laughs> lost, but not entire Cause niggas on ice uh -huh. hanging in my heart Cage Earl's flow is so they fantastic They say they made me a dog, ain't grave and back again uh -huh. Thanks to the source of the creation The match fixed like a batch of fresh lemonade oh, This is humming, man This is mumbling Smoky ass room kind of vibe. Drugs everywhere, drunk, hungover. That's the whole vibe of this whole song. Okay, that's a very Earl song. That's an extremely Earl song. Oh my god. I will say though, that I was I was kind of I was kind of surprised by how uh, by how long the track actually was because what we've gotten off of Feet of Clay and some rap songs, you know, Earl usually likes to spit uh, a, lot of, a lot of quick bars and a lot of quick verses, only like one or two verses usually. It likes to get in and get out, basically. And then likes to have the production be sort of like this really grimy, trippy, psychedelic feeling. Not really like Travis Scott psychedelic, more like a mild high club kind of psychedelic in a way, only very distorted. A lot of his beats are usually very nasty and grimy and aren't really supposed to technically sound good, but with Earl's voice and with Earl's uh, tone and the theme that he goes for, it fits really well for him. And that's totally what you can see on here. I thought Maxo coming in on the track uh, was interesting. I feel like if he was like a feature, I feel like he should have been on like the second half of the track because once Earl comes in, I sort of forget what he was even rapping about on his initial verse for Maxo. So I mean, that's just my opinion. Um, but Earl's verse was very, very heavy and deep and really trudged along with the track. Um, the track feels very heavy, um, but it also kind of feels atmospheric like you're in like a very smoky room and you're almost hung over or you're like you're tripping on something uh that's sort of the vibe that this whole that this track gives off initially i don't know if this is a sign that earl's going to be releasing a new album or maybe him and max are going to have like a collab project going on sometime in the future i don't know we'll have to see um but just from this track uh i like it i like it a lot i don't think it's earl's best work 
um, but I think it's very interesting and sort of gives us a glimpse of what could come to us maybe later this year or next year. I don't know. We'll have to see. I think for this track alone, I'm going to give it like a... I'm gonna give it like an eight out of 10. I feel like that's fine. Other than that, I like I like the beat a lot and I like Earl's flow. I've always loved Earl's flow. Um, so yeah, um, that's pretty much it. Uh, I'm gonna try to have my Tom Misk and Use of Days uh, album review coming out soon. Hopefully by either tonight or by tomorrow. We'll have to see. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe as always and subscribe to keep uh, keep up with the videos I'm going to be releasing throughout uh, today and also tomorrow, hopefully. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Ma said, wake up, son. Good morning. I rolled out of bed. Greeted mama with a yawn and paws. And scratching it and went down to the kitchen. Fixed a plate of eggs and bacon. Glass of OJ Simpson.